Yeah. There's an Andy Poltax album out at the moment on Sound of Spasm Records called Alvin Lives in Leeds, and it features bands like Perfect Disaster, Cuz the Wedding Present, 5.30 and Lush, amongst others. A couple of weeks ago, The Fridge in London played host to a number of bands appearing on the album. The Wedding Present Cud, 5.30 in the Pop Guns, plus special guest Julian Cope. The gig raised just over £2,500 for the Can't Pay, Won't Pay resource unit. I spoke to the bands appearing at the gig, as well as various others we've come across in the past few weeks, about their impression of the poll tax. And I asked Tish Ferry from Sound of Spasm Records about the idea behind the album. Well, the original concept for the album came from a man named Alvin, surprisingly enough, who used to live in Brighton and um, recently moved to Leeds. And his, his idea was to have indie bands covering number ones from the 70s, and it was such a funny idea um, that I just decided to, to take up on it. I decided to do it as an anti poll tax benefit because it seemed to be such an important item in everyone's life and following up the idea of it being a funny idea it, it also seemed a good idea to show that you could make an album for a good cause uh, a cause that people keep telling me is also a political cause um, without getting dead serious about it we got a phone call asking us if we wanted to do it and we, we really wanted to do it and that, we didn't have very much time well, we, that was available, right? Yeah, right. Well, I mean, we sort of learnt it in about two hours and laid it down live, you know. We had a, we had no idea at the time that it would actually get as much hype as it has mm. now. So the truth. Yeah. Oh, we took it seriously, but it's, you know, it was just a fun little thing to do, you know. We all, we all liked My Sweet Lord and thought, why not do it, you know. It's quite a Because at number. the end of the day, the tracks aren't about the bands who have put the yeah. tracks down. It's about anti poll tax, you it's know. It's just a contribution. It's just about people. Mm. Well, the poll tax is a, is a um, ill-conceived and, and uh, pernicious tax to impose upon people um, who, who vote, even, even though um, it's part of conservative policy, nobody was aware of what it meant when whatever 30% of the population voted the conservative government in. And it's... Um, it's uh, prejudiced against the poor members of society and it's just aimed at sort of disenfranchising large sections of the population who will not, who cannot afford to pay it and therefore will lose their right to vote. None of us know who chose Bohemian Rhapsody as a cover version for us to do on this LP. We like, um, all thought somebody else decided. And then when we asked everyone else, we found out that none of us had decided to do it. It's kind of almost like, um, like a ghost had told everyone or something, I don't know. But none of us wanted to do it, but we all thought everyone else did. Um, so we did it because of that reason. Uh, I read a review, or I've been told about a review today, that said um, uh, it could have been wittier if it had been written in a pub in half an hour. And um, the fellow was wrong. We took about five minutes to write it. We spent 50 quid on beer, went down to the studio, listened to the original version, and then Mike worked out how to do a cover version of it in about, about 30 seconds. <laughs> And then we did it. It took us about two hours to record it from like, like initial conception to completion. Um, I'm a student, so I actually can afford to pay it because it's much less. I don't know whether I'll pay it. I think I probably will hold out as long as possible. I think it's, uh, I think it's really good, actually, because it, it's one of the best on goals I've ever seen. No, it's, 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 there's no way they're going to get over this one. I wanted to do it because I was a huge BTT Rollers fan when I was a teenager. So. No, not Before you were a teenager. <laughs> no, when I was a teenager. <laughs> All those months That's ago. That's not quite right, is it? No. Yeah. When I was four, actually. Yeah. I was a big basic thing I I will do what I can. I won't pay. Um, I won't become a martyr. There's no way, and I don't think that people should become a martyr to this, because if the people of Britain get behind and then they start to realise that they bit, that there are other people feeling like this, maybe they'll get some kind of like feeling with it. But I'm not going to become a martyr to the cause because there's absolutely no point. Just think it's the way that it's worked out is so incredibly unfair and that poor boroughs that need to spend a lot more money because there's a lot more poverty in the borough are going, because they've all been capped. Like I live in Harringay and that's been capped. And um, they're just, you know, Harringay provides more out of school care for children than any other borough in the country and that's one reason why the poll tax is high 
Um, and people just don't understand that if, if they, if the Tories don't, Tories don't seem to understand, if they cap us, which they have done, there just isn't going to be the money there. And, you know, high, Labour councils have to be high spending because they, they provide more services. And I think it's unfair that, you know, my parents who live in a big house in Oxfordshire are going to pay less than I am living in a much smaller house. And I think it should be income related. It should be done on ability to pay. In Leeds, April the 23rd was the day you had to pay your first instalment. Um, and I don't know anyone's even bothered to, I don't know anyone who's even, even people that want to pay, I don't know anyone who's bothered, because they only got told about having to pay about a week and a half ago. And there's so much confusion about, even for people that want to pay, how, how do you pay? I don't know how you pay. I, you know, if I wanted to pay, I couldn't pay anyway. This gig's quite a good point about it. <laughs> it's just about it, you know. <laughs> little sidelines, little, you know, like token things like this, little shows of unity, which is quite encouraging, I think. You know, just to show that people at least on one level can get together. I think it's always a shame that the only people that really do anything about it are the people in the arts. So it seems to me, you know, in particular music, they always seem to be the first ones to do anything about anything. And uh, I reckon that's sad. I must admit, it's like, uh, there's very few people I know of uh, my own age and, and younger who, who will admit to paying the poll tax or, go, or even that they're going to pay the poll tax. But my parents and my sister and stuff like that, they, they say, well, I don't think it's a good idea, but you shouldn't really break the law, you're getting into trouble, you know. It's that sort of thing. That's exactly what they were saying. Probably another of that generation that will just do it. That's the thing about the poll tax as well, is that people who normally wouldn't become involved in politics, myself for instance, uh, see it as such an important issue that they're willing to do something, no matter how silly it may seem, um, to try and get rid of it. So why did you lend your support to um, this course? Probably the same reason why we all want our support to all the causes because we find it very difficult to say no. You know, if, if, if people are uh, have got enough amb ambition and enthusiasm to actually put something together, and then, then you ring them up and say, "Do you sort of support the cause?" And, and we say, "Yeah," and so we'll, we'll, we'll come play a concert. It's actually the LP first, wasn't it? Yeah. People will look at the name the wedding present before they look at LP. Sometimes it's a compilation LP that can help sort of raise the profile of, uh, let's say, anti poll tax campaigns. I think. They can't make people pay. I wouldn't pay, pay it. it. I mean, they can. They can say that they, you know, they can lock them in irons and but They just. I, I mean, I can't see them being able to get the whole thing together. I really can't. Obviously, it's a, uh, it's a horrendous tax, but 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 it did replace the rates, which was quite stupid as well. I mean, neither was a perfect solution. I think someone's got to sort of bring up a, a tax or, or or some kind of like local income tax, which is uh, that's the one, isn't it? Really? Means tested.